Hi, everybody. Lisa Larson here. I know I'm supposed to be talking about animals and I will be doing more of that again soon, but I am teaching a tarot class soon and tarot has always been my first love. So I wanted to make this video for my students who are trying to decide which, which um, deck to buy because I uh, require using a Rider Waite Smith deck or a Rider Waite Smith clone. And uh, there are a ton of them out there. I'm going to uh, show you a few here. And this is not just for my students, uh, but for anybody who is just thinking about starting to learn tarot, I really recommend that you start with a Rider Waite Smith deck because if you start with that deck, if you learn on that deck, you'll be able to read 80% of the decks out there. There's a reason why this deck has become so classic and so well loved. So anyway, I wanted to give you a smattering of some of the decks that you could get, some of the clones that you can get. And first of all, let me just give you a small background, a short background of the Rider Waite deck. The Rider Waite deck uh, was, it's, it's always been known as the Rider Waite, but now people are calling it the Rider Waite Smith deck because it's Pamela Coleman Smith, who, um, better known by the name of Pixie, who drew all of the pictures. And it's really she who, who made the deck what it is. And so when I talk about a clone, what that means is that we have the, her pictures, but it, they may be recolored. And sometimes those recolorings make all the difference in how you relate to the deck. So let's start with what is uh, many times known as the, the yellow box deck. This is, you can see that this is a very old one. This is, I don't know what year this is, um, but uh, it's, it's been around a while. I, I actually, somebody even gave this to me. I, I, mine was actually a similar deck to this, but I'm not gonna show it to you because it's rare and out of print. So anyway, this is the deck that most people know. It's, it's got this, this plaid backing on it, which I'm not really fond of that much, but, um, you know, it was last year when I, when I taught my Tro class that I pulled these out and started looking at them again, and they really are beautiful. They really, you know, they're, they don't have a lot of gradients or everything. They're very simple, um, but it's a straightforward deck. The colors are brighter than some of the ones that I'm going to show you. Not as bright as some of the other ones that I'm going to show you, but this is what you would know, uh, what is known as the classic deck. Any, any, when you just, just ask for a Rider Waite Smith deck or a Rider Waite deck, this is the one you'll probably get in this yellow box. And um, this is the one that is been around for a very, very long time. Okay, so that, that's definitely one. And, and that is, you know, comes with all of these usually come with a little booklet. Um, but as I say, tell say in my classes, uh, which I, like I said, I'm going to be teaching class in two weeks, it starts on June 22nd. Um, I, I, it's, it's nice to have books for reference but you, you want to learn how to use your intuition. Now, just for reference too, that you can see that both the, this deck, this Rider Waite deck comes in different sizes. You can see how well we use these cards are. I've had these forever. I actually even used to color, colored part of them myself because back then there were no brighter, 
brighter decks so I, I was coloring them myself but this is a very small deck I'll show you the differences in the size there's a there is a uh, playing card deck size and there is the the regular deck size. So you can see the difference. And these, these playing decks hard size are really nice, very comfortable to use. These are great. <laughs> you can see how much I've used these little, this little deck. Look at the difference in the size of how, how wide they are. <laughs> that's not because the, the card stock is any different. That's just because I've used this deck so much because I used to take this around in my in my purse everywhere, um, everywhere I went. So, you know, it's just a nice little, little deck that's easy to carry around. And again, I don't, I long ago lost the box for that, but um, don't throw your boxes away. Or in the early days, I, I used to throw my boxes away so I could use them in these bags, but don't do that. Save your boxes because these decks uh, some of these decks become very uh, valuable and you just don't know which ones are going to be. So anyway, so those are the, this back and, and you'll notice too that a lot of, you know, I'm going to show you the backs of all of these and you'll notice too that one of the reasons is, is because um, that's a lot of times how you tell the difference between these decks and, and people just really like the backs of decks. So um, hang on one second, I wanna go do one thing. And I'm back. Now, there are other older decks too that one of the first ones that started to be recolored is called an Albano deck. Again, I don't have the boxes for these. This deck was actually given to me without a box. Um, this is the back of the Albano deck, and you can see the difference in the colors. You, there's, there's really a stark difference in the colors from the original, well, the classic deck and the Albano deck. They've got some very, very bright colors to them, very deep colors. So this is usually like a, I think a light blue in the background and here it's purple. Um, they've got some, a lot of purples, a lot of oranges, some orange sky. So you see that there's, there's quite a difference there between those two decks. It's, it's quite, uh, quite a lot. Um, this is the original or the classic. Uh, it's, it's quite a bit more, well, some people call it garish. I would not call it garish. I, I, I liked this deck for a long time, but it's called the Albano deck. I think you can still get it. Actually, you can still get it on uh, Amazon. I just saw it recently. And again, I don't know if it has a playing deck card size, but this also has a little mini deck. So, uh, and again, <laughs> very, very well used deck here. You see how how brilliant the colors are there. Okay, but that is that is one of the older recolored decks that you can find, and there are a lot lot newer ones um, that it, it's all the recoloring now. When we get when we start getting to into uh, the recoloring of the decks and, and what, what you choose and what you like, this is what, what we're talking about. Now, um, one of the, another earlier deck that had some really beautiful pastel coloring was the Universal Weight. Now, I love, love, love this deck. The backs are beautiful. Nice little stars on there. But what I really love about this deck is that there it's, it's just a very beautiful pastel color. Okay, isn't that gorgeous, those pastel colors there? 
very soft, the coloring in this deck, very soft. Um, the, it also comes with a small, uh, comes in a smaller deck size, which comes in a really nice little box. You see how some of these boxes start to get really ratty as you, as you um, use them over time. In fact, I'm gonna up, make this a little bit bigger so we have a little bit more space to use. Hang on here. Uh, you can see how they get kind of ratty. But this box is a nice sturdy box. This is same deck. It does, it, you know, sometimes different colorings, different printings don't, don't look exactly the same. Uh, it's still very soft. It doesn't, sometimes it, I don't feel like it's quite as soft as these ones, but um, this deck, I, this was my go-to deck, this little playing card size deck for so long. Cause again, very, very comfortable. I love the backs. I think these backs are just beautiful and you can see how, how thick again. Well, I've used both these decks a lot, so you can see that. Now, one of the things to remember is that don't get this deck universal weight confused with the universal tarot. Now this, these, uh, these decks are all from US games. Okay, that's who owns Pixie's um, artwork. Uh, that's who initially bought Pixie, Pixie's artwork. Universal tarot is a Lo Scarborough deck. Uh, they make some great, great, um, decks and I don't know that there are going to be any that I show you here but they are some really nice ones but this is not Pixie's artwork so I wouldn't want this for my class I would want you know the universal weight but I'll just show you the difference and it's very very close very close um if you learn if you learn on a art Rider Waite Smith deck you're certainly going to be able to use these this is the back not bad um but you see, I didn't pull these out so that you can see the difference in side by side, but you can see that this is different artwork. You know, here on the four uh, in Pixies, there's women that, I mean, these people are standing looking at the, th the buildings a little farther away. These have really defined clothes. This is much different. You see on the other card, you see like the side. So these are beautiful cards, but um, certainly ones that, you know, you might want, um, but not, um, I wouldn't learn on these cards. I would still go for, if you like that soft look and it does, these do have that soft coloring as well. Um, has a little bit more gradient and stuff than the classic deck. Um, but still, you know, if you're going to learn, I would, I would still learn on the universal weight deck. Okay. So those are the ones, uh, some nice soft recolorings. Um, we can get more and more into going from soft recolorings to some pretty vivid recolorings. And one of the most famous decks is the Radiant Tarot. I love this deck as well. I don't use it as much. Um, back is eh, kind of simple, um, but very, very vivid coloring. Very vivid coloring. Let's turn some of these around. Aren't those beautiful? Now, some people, I don't know if they cut off the borders here or not. I know a lot of people that are really into this, they cut off borders, but, um, but these are just beautiful, very, very deep, very rich colors. Isn't that pretty? Okay, again, comes in a playing card size. 
um, in a nice little tin. Again, this these can get kind of right. This one's not so much because I haven't used this duck that much, but these can get kind of ratty, but these little tins are just wonderful. Um, this is a really nice little deck. Again, comes with the book. Um, interestingly, those backs are the same. Sometimes they change the backs of the smaller decks. Um, again, beautiful cards. I don't know how much I like the borders on this, on these. I don't really use these this much and I, that much. And I think it's because the borders are a little overwhelming, kind of take away from the, the look, but, um, but if that doesn't bother you, you know, uh, these are, these are really pretty cards. Isn't that gorgeous? Just gorgeous. And these nice, small in there, there you can see the difference between that and the other ones. And there's the hermit again. And again, nice, small, easy to shuffle and comes in this nice little small tin. Okay, that's the radiant row. You can see the difference in the card sizes there. Not a lot of different, well, yeah. Doesn't seem so this way, but it does seem so this way. Okay, so that's the radiant row. Now, I don't know if these cards are still available. These are called the, uh, oh, what are these called? The Illuminated Tarot. Now she sends you these bags. I'm not really fond of these bags. I mean, they're, they're nice looking, but they're just a little awkward to put stuff in and out of. The smaller deck came in this. It's kind of hard to put things in and out of. So I just did one that I'm, I made myself. But these are gorgeous, gorgeous cards. Here's the back. Uh, they are really, really high glossy and they're very thin. I suspect that this woman um, makes them and, and cuts them herself. Uh, she did a pretty good job. Uh, you have to go searching for these. I don't remember, you know, you have to go to her website, but you can see how gorgeous these just amazing, amazing colors in this illuminated tarot. And if you really like these bright, bright looking colors, isn't that gorgeous? If you really like these bright looking colors, this is, this is a wonderful deck. But again, you do have to search for it. You can't just find this on Amazon someplace. Oh, look at that. Well, we keep getting the four wands there. I have to think about that. Okay, magician. Beautiful sky. Okay, so those, and, and these, I think these are the medium size deck. You can see how big they are in my hand. Uh, I think she does a larger size. I only bought this, the medium and the small size. Here's the small size here. Again, very pretty, same beautiful artwork. Colorization. Uh, you know, the smaller stuff is easier to handle. These are pretty easy to handle. It, it, these are just a little hard. They're so slick. You have to kind of, you know, be careful of them. I, I'm not real fond of the slick, glossy stuff, but, you know, these were worth it just because of the coloring. So um, now I want to go to the my two favorite, favorite, favorite right away decks. And that is the first being the centennial edition, or what I usually call the, the commemorative. The centennial edition, and this is the smaller deck. I got this in a big set. I'll show you. 
I got it in this. Now I'm a little close, which comes with a book and a pictorial key to the tarot and comes with these cards. Now you can now get these cards just in just the cards themselves, I think through Amazon as the centennial edition. I would not get the centennial edition borderless ones because they did some weird things like they just took out the border and then just put extra space on the sides so there's some weird things that they look like but anyway love these backs gorgeous gorgeous backs this is pixie's signature there's the rose that's on the death card and what i love about these cards is this deck was made to recreate pixie's coloring of the decks as closely as possible so this this cardstock is is beautiful matte cardstock you can see how the difference how it um how it doesn't shine you see that gloss there as opposed to how this glosses that's just a lot of gloss there this is more of much more of a matte finish gorgeous if you like the feeling of old world type of thing um these are the cards uh, these and the next ones that i'm going to show you these are muted colors but not like the universal weight where they're just pastel these are muted like kind of an old world muted color not too bright just absolutely gorgeous duck i love this duck i love this duck and you and you can certainly see through flip throughs and and actually uh, I can put a link down here. So if you want to see this one and the next one, I'm going to show you as uh, as a comparison. You you can go on. I did one of those. This one also comes with a beautiful. The smaller deck comes in a wonderful tin. There's the smaller deck. Again, this has a border, which I don't I don't mind as long as it's not taken too much away. Good size. You can see the difference in the size here. So this is regular tarot size. Okay, so that is the Centennial edition. Uh, this little bag came with that book, that uh, set that I got. And if you are looking, uh, if you like that, uh, there's also these. I'm not sure these are available anymore. You might have to get these from someplace like on eBay. They're probably around because I only got these, a, I don't know, a few months ago, but they're a limited edition. This was limited edition 1000 decks. This was limited edition, didn't say how many decks. This was 2018. Um, this is also 2018. So anyway, this is Pam's vintage tarot, but again, it gives you an idea of how many different styles you can get with getting a rider weight deck. Now this comes with a couple of extra cards that Pixie drew. These aren't part of the tarot, but this is absolutely gorgeous. It makes it look like an old, old, old time vintage deck. Okay. I love this deck. Okay. Um, again, comes in a smaller version. And the smaller version comes with a ton of different cards that Pixie, just other cards that she drew, that she painted. Um, but again, here's the back. So here's the backs of these, same backs. Again, smaller, 
about playing deck card size, but again, having that, that old world feel, which is just absolutely gorgeous. And both of these are on a linen stock. I'm not sure you can tell, maybe a little bit right there. These are a linen stock. So they have just, they're beautiful. Cause that's one of the things that you want to look for when you're looking at cards, you know, what are they going to feel like when you shuffle them and stuff like that. So now the last thing I want to show you is don't get confused between things like the uh, centennial deck that say they're supposed to be original or this vintage deck that says it's supposed to be original coloring with this deck. This, I hate this deck. So I just wanna make sure that you know the difference. Where people might call the centennial deck, where did I go with that? People might call this deck like an originally colored deck or, you know, because they, it was supposed to be her original colors. This is called the original Tarot, the original Rider weight, And that's what their, I think their intent was, is to get that coloring, but they really, really, really didn't do it. It just all came out. First of all, these are really shiny. They're really, really, that's the backs. They're really hard to shuffle because they're, they're so shiny. They kind of have this sticky feel to them. Um, everything is kind of, everything kind of has a green tint to it. All of the skies kind of have like a crap all the skies look the same all the green skies that's i'm not even sure what that is um the artwork is just if you see it the artwork is just not that clear it just i i just do not like this deck at all again somebody gave it to me i, I was appreciative of it but he gave it to me when he was giving me some other stuff um so that i would I would not, unless, you know, maybe there are some people that really like this deck. If you find it, you like it, great. But it's, it's, it's not one I would go seek out. And I just want to make sure that you understand the difference between this one and this one, because they're trying to do the same thing here. Trying to get her original coloring is what I think that's why they called this the original Rider weight because they were trying to color it the same, but they really didn't do it well here. They did it beautifully here and here. Okay, so there you have it. If uh, it, it all really, really just depends on, you know, what your, uh, what what appeals to you you know maybe you really like the bright things so you want to think about getting the radiant row you know if you like the the more original kind of look and the more matted look then you want to look at this maybe the centennial edition uh, you can look for and um, again if you if you like these i'm not sure these are still available you might have to get these look for those on ebay and but those are called pam's vintage tarot i don't know if they're going to be putting out another one and there are other options as well i mean there are a lot of other new card decks around um these happen to be the ones that i know of. These happen to be the ones that I have. Um, and I think if you find any of these um, clones, you're going to be fine with them. Uh, because, you know, you're still anything that you find with Pixie's artwork, you're going to be able to learn really well, and you'll be able to learn you know, you'll know most of the decks out there on the market, but learn with this deck and you'll under, understand the tarot. So again, 
Uh, my class starts in two weeks on June 22nd, 2021. I'll put the link down below. And yes, I will get back to doing some other animal videos soon. But I appreciate you bearing with me here because Tarot really is just um, a lot of fun. And if you learn Tarot, especially if you're learn, interested in learning how to speak with animals, if you learn Tarot, you learn a lot about symbolism, which you, you use in psychic work, mediumship work, animal communication, and all of that other stuff. So I thank you for joining me and uh, go forth and have fun with your Tarot.